CC chain comp like Senna plus Set we yep. saw yesterday. Probably not going to be able to wombo quite as well as what is beyond. Looking into the enemy jungle here, Miru. He's very, very low, but Beyond's only level three. So tower dives are difficult. Oh god. This could just be a flash. Flash stun. As uh, Miru is actually getting out of the way of his tower. Storm Strike comes down. Miru's slowed, but it looks like he is going to be okay here. Snare comes in. Lahen's in a little bit of trouble. Face Breaker comes down. Haymaker for a fair bit of damage. Lahen's, you could see. He was trying to bait, but of course, that ward in the brush is going to give away all of that information. As Dynamics, they have lost a turret plate, but they haven't lost their lives yet. But the lane is getting harder because of the trade. Oh, yeah. But the, the jungle control is going really hard from Cad, actually. Uh, Beyond has to flash. Immediate flash oh. after him there from Cad. Not sure what he was doing that for, as he's just going to die. First blood goes to Kuzan, and that was 100% an unforced error out of the Olaf. I think he had no mana, but he was looking for a uh, finishing of the Ola. I mean, the Baldiger, but... Oh, Viper, immediate cleanse is docked on. Has to go underwater, but will survive. Okay, so because of that, I think Olaf lost his all advantage that he got from invade and jungle speed or whatever. Like, everything is gone. And that's really critical in the early game right now. Like the game one and game two, it's already improved. Well, Empress divides absolutely everywhere as Cad oh. comes in. Flash out from Kuzan. See how, whether he survives, and he's not going to. Nope. Miru tanks up the turret a couple of times, and that is going to be a kill onto the mid laner right. with this comp composition. And they have hit level six on everyone as over goes Miru. Beyond gets himself the shield from his Storm Strike, oh. and the ulti comes out. The stolen one. Miru wants back to back POGs. This Silas looks so damn good. The Ignite comes forward. Kingslayer is going to keep Miru alive and he gets himself a shield. Arrow is going to pierce the heavens and there's not enough hay to be made here for the set. Yeah, that arrow is just going to go wide as our Beyond is looking for Dudu. Does get a good stun there onto the bear, but it's not going to have too much of an issue with the turret as Dudu eventually going to go down. The Slicing Maelstrom's going to do it. As now a Ragnarokking Olaf is just hanging out underneath the turret. As Beyond looking very big and menacing, now walking towards him. It's Rich that picks up the turret aggro. They're seeing whether they can get another kill, and Kuzan's going to be able to collect it there. Yeah, very nicely done. As Cad now once again on the run, as Beyond now finds himself alone, one versus three, but the, all the volley does connect. There's another redemption that comes forward. The Lahen special, as the arrow is not going to connect, but the bear is still dead. As well as late game split push potential being well and truly in favor of Hanwha. As Slicing Maelstrom comes down from Rich, Miru throws out one of his own. Rich goes golden, and another redemption comes in. Rich is not going to survive for long enough as Beyond turns up at four versus two. You probably take those odds if you are Team Dynamics. Is now Cad trying to run away. Miru just running around through the alcoves, <laughs> and it uh, looks like he is going to be ignored and may just escape. Oh. As, uh, yeah, that's an arrow to the face, and Miru. Just... Huge gold difference when it comes to CS. Yeah, Arrow is going to connect there, as you can see, Hextech Ultimatum. And Guga throws out the Haymaker, but he's still going to be dead. Lasts quite a long time as the Blast Cone causes a rocket. TP Viper might be in trouble. There's the Emperor's Divide, but hits no one. And it's a double kill for the Camille. Doctom trying to run away, and he should escape. But it's everything is going great for Hana Live Esports. Just get some vision control. Whoop, Arrow on the Doctom. He is mega dead. Make a Epically dead. dead. Miru is going to come in through the backside, and the ulti is going to be followed bear upon bear action as uh, Rich is trying to fight against Dudu, but this is a 23 minute battle against a Camille, and uh, Rich is. No, oh, okay. He escapes at least, doesn't win the fight, but he is at least going to us. Oh, for now. Oh, sad the sad B comes out as he dies to a Tiamat. Oh, it feels so bad. Strong. As uh, we're going to have a look at a fight here towards the bottom side. There are ultimates just flying everywhere as the Azir going to be taken down first. Guga gets into the backside trying to remove Mira from the fight, but it's just not Aww. really going to be enough as Hanwha Life are obliterating Team Dynamics. And Mira is just going to wander after him and, uh, yeah, eventually take him down. But he was playing with his food for a moment. I think, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be the end of the game as Dr. Um, He's going to chill out for a few moments on his fountain just before this one is over. Might be able to kill Viper, but he has cleansed. So he's going to be absolutely fine. 
One more Nexus turret between Hamwa Life and their first victory in a very, very long time. This must feel very cathartic as Hamwa Life killed the Nexus for the final time. Pretty impressive. This wasn't necessarily the Viper carry game, but uh, in the end, as you can see by 